be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning. I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Wednesday, February 14th, 2007, and here's today's top story. BBC Worldwide Americas has named Garth Ansir as President of U.S. Operations, where he will manage the company's entire U.S. activity, including developing the BBC brand in the U.S. Based at the company headquarters in New York, Garth will report directly to John Smith, CEO of BBC Worldwide, and will sit on and be accountable to the BBC Worldwide Americas board. We have more good stuff coming up, but first this message from the Chaconi Bed and Breakfast. And remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we'd all be watching your stuff right now. Coming up under more good stuff today, there's a new evening news leader in town, program schedule changes at NBC and Fox, Battlestar Galactica will return for a fourth season, and Lifetime signs Carson Kressley for a new series. Well, there's a new top dog in the broadcast evening news rankings. For the week of February 5th, ABC World News with Charles Gibson led with 9.7 million total viewers and a 2.610 among adult 25 to 54. This is the second week in a row that ABC's World News came in first among adult 25 to 54, and additionally, ABC had its best delivery with total viewers in two years. NBC's Nightly News came in second last week with 9.52 million total viewers and a 2.59 with a adult 25 to 54, and CBS Evening News was third with 7.99 million total viewers and a 2.28 with adult 25 to 54. NBC has re-upped the premiere date of the Black Donnellys to February 26, when it will replace Studio 60 on Monday nights at 10 o'clock. The move gives Donnellys the benefit of a first-run lead-in of Heroes before it slides into reruns the following week. No info yet as to when or if, for that matter, Studio 60 will return. Meanwhile, Fox has delayed the return of Standoff by one week, bringing it back to the schedule on Friday nights as of April 6th, rather than the originally planned March 30th. Repeats of House will air on Fridays at 8 o'clock for four consecutive weeks in March, as of the 9th, benefiting the wedding bills which uh, wedding bells which debuts on March seventh at nine o'clock before sliding into its regular Friday night nine o'clock time period on the ninth. Check out www.synopsis.com for the download of the complete primetime broadcast lineup spreadsheet. Equator HD, one of the VOOM HD networks available on Dish Network, will debut two new documentary series in third quarter 2007 under the channel's Keep It Green programming block. First, Future Wheels will explore the next transportation innovations. Thirteen half-hour episodes have been ordered from Michael Hoff Productions. And second, Wildlife Nannies is 17 half-hour episodes about humans who have become foster parents to abandoned wild baby animals. 
Liberty Media Corporation and CBS Corporation have entered into a definitive contract whereby Liberty will exchange its nearly 7.6 million CBS Common shares for the CBS O&O television station in Green Bay, WFRV, valued at $64 million. The transaction also includes approximately $170 million in cash and a tax-free split-off. The deal is expected to be completed the second quarter, pending the usual FCC approval and closing conditions. On to production and development, Sci-Fi Channel has re-upped its series Battlestar Galactica for a fourth season and a minimum of 13 additional hours. Production will start up again this summer for a scheduled January 2008 launch. The series is produced by NBC Universal Television Studio. Food Network has started production this week on its new primetime series, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, hosted by Guy Fieri, star of Guy's Big Bite, and winner of the next Food Network star. The half-hour show will discover successful retro food places and will premiere April 23rd at 10 p.m. VH1 and BET are teaming to co-produce and co-finance a hip-hop drama pilot called Wifey that could potentially air at the same time on both channels if it's picked up. The story is about a widow of a slain hip-hop mogul who takes control of his not-doing-so-well record company. A new project for Lifetime called How to Look Good Naked has signed Carson Kressley, who you know from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, to host. Without surgery or other extreme measures, the show helps women seek uh, seeking a full-body makeover change her perception of herself, reports Variety. Based on a series in the UK, the show uses as part of the confidence-building technique a photograph of the woman in her skivvies and posts it larger than life on the side of a building and listens to what people have to say. Apparently, it's very eye-opening. Naked is based on a UK format and is from RDF USA and Maverick TV. Casting notes, Fox, Canterbury's law about a defense attorney dealing with both her job in the courtroom and her role at home, has signed Juliana Margulies to star opposite Ben Shankman. The pilot is from Apostle Films and Sony Pictures TV. And over at ABC, Cashmere Mafia from Darren Star and Sony Pictures TV has added Frances O'Connor to the cast, which also includes Miranda Otto. This story revolves around four high-powered women executives. And last Dirty Sexy Money has added Glenn Fitzgerald to the cast, led by Peter Crossay. The project from ABC TV Studio is about a lawyer who takes on his father's client list, including a very wealthy and apparently morally pliable family. Here's the rating summary from Monday night, according to Live Plus Same Day Ratings from Nielsen Media Research. Fox not going to win Monday night with a 5.012, adult 18 to 49. Fox led at 8 o'clock with the first half of its two-hour 24 special earning at 4.913, while NBC's Deal or No Deal was number 2 at a 4.612. At 9 o'clock, NBC welcomed a win for Heroes at a 6.314, and then at 10 o'clock, CBS was in front with CSI Miami, scoring a 6.416. Your daily myth goes like this. The word news is an acronym form from the words North, East, West, and South. False. Don't fall for that one. It's called news simply because it's new information. Well, that's it. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, loads of new classified ads, and a few other stories that didn't make it into this podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music and synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a synopsis media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, Out of the Storm and Safe and Dry Inside, I'm Trish Pahanik. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.